Morning everybody, I'm Luke Sullivan with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado, about half an hour north of Denver. Today behind me I have a unique two-horse, uh, warm blood, straight, straight load trailer. It's a 2025 new model year, uh, two-horse, warm blood, straight load with a side ramp, uh, front tack, side ramp, and a sliding divider. Got a lot of features on this trailer that you're not gonna find on your normal everyday uh, straight load trailer. So gonna be a lot of fun looking at this trailer. We've got two of these on the lot, one in white and one in silver. So a uh, quick look at the drawings of this one. We are 6'10 wide, 7'7 tall. Uh, all told, we're a little over 21 feet long, bumper to bumper. So uh, still a very compact trailer. Uh, in comparison to a normal straight load uh, two horse warm blood that we would have on the lot, which we have a few of those as well, if you're interested, um, we're about two feet uh, longer. So not a lot of difference on this. We'll take a quick peek at the front, the business end of things, really kind of getting things done. Uh, Simron has a lot of eye on safety, big safety chains. Um, nice kind of curly cued breakaway switch, like these a lot, kind of keeps it out of the dirt and out of the mud and the grime. Uh, your seven pin connector, nice little holder, it's the little things with Cimarron that I like a lot. Nice little holder, keeps it out of the mud, keeps it out of the snow and the ice in the winter, and just really preserves that connection between your truck and your trailer. That's your lights, that's your brakes, that's your communication with your trailer and your truck. So very important you have a good connection there. Uh, hand crank jack shop at TransWest can always add an electric jack. A lot of our goosenecks we do an electric over hydraulic would probably be a little overkill on this so we can do just a solely electric jack. Uh, that will get you a house battery too, a 12 volt house battery so we can run some interior and load lights off of that when you're disconnected from your truck if you like. 2 and 5 16 cents. Paul always make sure you got the right equipment when you're hooking up to your trailers going down the road safe and sound. So you'll see right away we are a V-nose configuration we do have some windows on either side of that V-nose, one in our door. Uh, nice uh, brush box, spray bottles, anything you kind of want to have your hands on very quickly if you get the door open. Uh, kind of compartmentalized and drains a little bit too, so if you do have a spill of some Shoshin or some fly spray in there, uh, easy to clean out. Nice little step. We add this to almost all of our trailers now. Just really makes that entry and exit into these tack rooms a lot easier. Uh, stepping into the tack room, you will see right away rubber floor, rubber matted floor, uh, typical aluminum underneath. Easy to clean out. Get a little uh, battery pack blower in here or even a broom and you can sweep it right out to the side. So you'll see carpeted walls on the back walls. Anywhere we have some bridle hooks uh, really cuts down on the noise when you're bouncing down the road really cuts down on kind of the wear and tear and the way uh, our used trailers look all the time with those bits and metal pieces uh, swinging on those walls. And then biggest feature in this trailer too that I like a lot is this pass-through window. So nice big bus window, uh, pass-through. You can get some airflow into this tack room if you want with that. Um, you know, an added feature too is you've got the two front windows. You can crack this open a little bit and get some airflow straight through it while you're going down the road. So nice little feature, nice way too to pop in here if you've got a storm and you're going down the road. Pop in, have a look at your horses, make sure everything's going well. Get back on the road and you're good to go. So you'll come back in the back corner here over on our driver's side. You'll see we have two saddle racks and two saddle pad poles, um, infinitely adjustable all the way to the top. If you just want the saddle racks and not the pad poles, can pull those right off, really easy to do. Uh, if you need another rack for another saddle, something we can get for you in our parts department at TransWest. So happy to help with that. Swinging over to the right, right below that saddle rack, we also have a full-size matching spare aluminum wheel. Uh, we'll talk about those when we get to the axles. Uh, and you'll notice next to that too is our breakaway battery uh, for our emergency brake kit. And also kind of just um, a lot of our wiring harness tucked away in here, out of the weather, out of the elements. Uh, good way to keep it safe and, and away from corrosion. Looking up at the very top as we walk out of here, um, You'll also see you have a clothes rack as well. So good way to kind of keep your show coats, your show shirts, any of that kind of stuff out of the truck, keep things organized in here and hung up and uh, free moving. So really nice, uh, nice, well-equipped tack room for, for the size of trailer we're dealing with here. Uh, we don't have our typical quarter water tank in these um, in this trailer, but it's something we can always add. If, if this trailer checks all the boxes for you and um, 
you're just missing that quarter water tank and, and maybe a couple extra or an extra saddle um, saddle rack, that's something we can help you out with in our parts department. So um, cool thing, I guess right away, before we get too deep into this trailer, I'm sure if you're looking at pictures online or seeing our video, you see we've got a raw aluminum floor. That will be not be delivered this way. This trailer is slated to go to our local worm dealer uh, in Denver. So it will be outfitted with worm. Uh, just a little hold up and getting it there. We've only had it a few days, just arrived on the lot. So uh, just so you know, and you're wondering why we're seeing a bare aluminum floor, but you know, the, the, the really cool part of this trailer and the reason a lot of people buy this trailer right away is the side ramp. So if you've got a horse that doesn't like backing off, he's uncomfortable backing off. If you're working with some young horses, trying to get them loading on and off, uh, this side ramp is the bee's knees. Love it a lot. We've got our um, bulkhead wall for our tack room angled a little bit so that we make a little bit room, bit more room for this, um, this side ramp. We're 48 inches wide on the ramp. So very easily pull either horse out and you can swing your head divider over even more to give you a little room so that your driver's side horse can make that swing right out and down the ramp. So really nice feature. Uh, we'll come back outside and kind of finish the side before we get it too deep into the inside, but the top door above the ramp is designed and latched in a way that it is safe to go down the road with that open. So if you want to get some airflow into your horses via that, we obviously don't have our typical drop window on, a, on an escape door on this side. Same with the rear ramp door. We have a rear ramp with Dutch doors above it. These with these clasps and latches and the cam locks are safe to go down the road as configured um, with those open. You can get a lot of airflow that way. Obviously, Simrons, we take pride in, in our big drop windows that are, that are well framed out and, and move a lot of air in our roof fence and our insulated roof, but you can move a lot of air with these too. Uh, straight load, you're just on your butt end down here. So uh, looking down inside of the trailer, you'll see a couple awning lights. You'll see some, some tie points there midway down. You will also see straight away our aluminum wheels and 10 ply 16 inch wheels and tires. So really nice setup, Goodyear tires. I think that name speaks for itself right away. We are on 5,200 pound Dexter torsion axles. Torsion axles give you a really smooth ride going down the road. Um, they're pretty care for, uh, uh, worry free system. It's um, uh, Dexter's been in the business for a long time and they make good axles and there's tons of them going down the road. So a little bit of maintenance with greasing your bearings once a year. And, and checking on your brakes. Uh, we do have electric drum brakes on this trailer. Make sure, obviously, this is the kind of trailer you can pull with anything. A, a lot of different vehicles, um, some larger SUVs, your half-ton trucks. So always make sure your vehicle is equipped with your um, electronic brake controller, trailer brake controller in your truck, whether it's aftermarket or whether it's integrated from the factory. So we'll come back around to the back. Rear ramp full width, double Dutch doors above the ramp. You will notice the new 2025 feature for Cimarron, standard on all Cimarrons. You'll see a little clear element in the LEDs in our tail lights in all four that we have along this trailer. Those are backup lights. Those are now standard from Cimarron from the factory. Uh, no longer are we just adding them at TransWest or adding them uh, to an inventory order or a special order from Cimarron at TransWest. They are now factory from Cimarron uh, everything coming off the show, off the factory floors, getting the backup lights, and I think it's a great feature. Um, everybody that knows that has horses, as things come up, you end up leaving in the middle of the night, you end up leaving early in the mornings. Um, lights are, are, are a really nice thing, and just having that added bonus of reverse lights when you need them is, is a bonus too. So above that, you'll notice we have some awning load lights too, uh, really handy. All our switches are conveniently located down there on our driver's side. but. Coming back inside the trailer, the, um, the second, my second favorite feature of this trailer, aside from our side ramp and, and the ability to unload and load from the side or the rear, is this partition. Everybody knows if you have a horse trailer, you technically have a way to move a quad or a mower for service or something like that, but you've always got to take the partition out. If you need to haul a mare in full or you need to haul a young horse in a box, you've got to take the partition out. And luckily, as of late, everything's made of aluminum and it's a lot lighter. Uh, but they're still big and awkward and cumbersome. And it's a hard job to do by yourself. 
And it's a hard decision to make when you're leaving the farm with your partition behind. Am I going to need that at my next stop? Am I going to need that before I get back home to pick it up or something like that? So this partition, aluminum, airflow. We've got padded dividers on both. Big padded butt bars. No hardware. Slips in and out. Really nice system. Like these a lot. But the added bonus of this is we pull a couple pins on the front. I'm going to go up here. That was the back. I'm going to go up here to the front, pull a couple pins, and we're on a barn door sliding track. Right up against the wall. Don't have to take our Don't have to take our butt bars or our chest bars down. Pins in place really well and solid still have a padded wall on the driver's side if you want to use this as a single box stall trailer if you want to use this to haul your mower in for service this is pinned against the side all four pins that we just undid also pin floor and roof and the head divider will also pin up here as well so really solid just as sturdy as if it was in its center position if you do want to haul something in here and you're worried about these, simple pin, pop them out, throw them in your tack room, throw them in your brush box in your tack room door, and you're good to go. While we're in here real quick, Cimarron's OptiBright uh, interior lights. We've got our only lights and our interior lights. They're all LEDs, so they're a lot of low power draw. Uh, really lights these trailers up, especially with the white sidewalls. Uh, while we're up there, Cimarron's um, from the factory standard on every trailer, their insulated roof. Uh, like an R3 value on that. We still haven't done it. We've had some hot days. We're gonna get some thermometers out, throw them in some trailers and, um, and see the difference because the real feel to us um, between the salesman and service and everybody is, is 10 degrees or more. So it makes a big difference. Uh, you will also notice too, at the heads of each horse, we have a two-way roof vent. Uh, great way when you're moving down the road to move a lot of air. Um, winter time turn them reverse them and you can pull a little air out of here keep it from getting so stuffy or keep the dust down a little bit and keep some fresh air flowing through here even if you're hauling in the winter time and don't want some cold air blowing on their faces while we're over here at the side ramp you'll notice too just a little addition if you're opening things up we did put a bar along here too just a nice little feature uh, brings everybody a little bit of peace of mind when you're loading unloading um, all of the above or you're at a quick stop somewhere so uh, easily latches up there has a track that it runs up and down in and a little pocket it sits in right there stowed away again if you don't ever want to use it can be pulled pinned can be pulled and uh, you're set to go so we'll take a walk outside look at the driver's side of this thing and kind of wrap it up a little bit but Two or side ramp with the sliding divider. Love the sliding divider. Uh, great way to stow it out of your way if you're using these trailers for box stalls or, or hauling more than just horses in them. Again, you get another nice look at the driver's side of this trailer. Again, latches enable you to run down the road safely with those open. Get a lot of airflow kind of in the back there, get a little wind tunnel effect going. And then you'll notice on our driver's side, opposite the ramp, we are um, an escape door. Nice way to check in on your horses if you're um, making a stop on the road. And then also one of our drop windows. Really like these nice big drop windows. No hardware to get those jail bars out if you want to pop your head in there and look at something. Drop these back down and you're good to go again. Just like the added access, nice way to get in there if you're on a road trip or if you're uh, traveling together with somebody and you want to throw somebody in there to, to latch onto your horses before you drop some ramps. Coming around to the front, again you'll notice the other window opposite um, our tack room door for our tack room. Great way to get some airflow through in there. You'll notice our polished nose and the diamond plate along the front. Kind of a good rock guard. Uh, keeps a lot of the rock chips and stuff. A lot of you guys are living on gravel roads out here in Colorado. So try and keep that to a minimum down low. 
and then all aluminum construction on our frame. So love these trailers. Uh, unique little two horse. We've got a couple of them on the lot. If there's anything we can show you, please feel free to reach out. My name's Luke Sullivan again. My phone number, my cell phone number is 859-509-1282. And if you're interested in this trailer specifically, its stock number is 5N240592. And uh, if there's another one you're looking for, we have lots of two horses in stock. Uh, we've got slant loads, we've got straight loads, we've got the side ramps, and all of the above. So once again, thanks very much for your time. Enjoy your day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.